Good morning, everybody. We're up here in Bakersfield, California, and welcome to another episode of Throwback Thursday. This week's story is going to be about another stupid crook. This is a guy that attempted a, res a commercial burglary and left his ID behind. Now, I was working uh, out of Eastern Division. Unit 46 John, it was a morning watch on the weekend. And not much happening. Radio call comes out over the air for any unit to respond to a burglary alarm on the beat next to me. That officer was busy already taking a report somewhere else. So I jumped on the call and headed over there. And I get over to the business and the alarm's already shut off. And I drive by the front of the building, everything looks nice and secure. And that's usually not where they're going to break in anyway. They're going to break in in the back or hidden out of sight. So I cruise around the back, get out, walk up to the side back door and I can see the door looks like it's ajar. And stuck in the door where the doorknob locking mechanism is, is the guy's driver's license, a laminated driver's license. He had stuck it in there to try and slip the door lock. And it got stuck. Well, he couldn't get the door open because inside the door they had some kind of like metal loops with a big bar running through it because, uh, you know, the door lock itself was pretty crappy. Anybody could break into it. So I guess the owners of the business had done that as an extra security measure. So he never got into the business. So it was going to be a attempted burglary report. And I went ahead and wiggled the guy's driver's license out of the door jam. And I lifted fingerprints off of the doorknob. Which if any of you have ever done fingerprinting, you know that's uh, not the easiest thing in the world to do is to get fingerprints off of a curved surface like that, but I did it. And uh, I took photographs of the footprints that was in the dirt leading uh, up and back away from the door. And got the rest of the information I needed for the business, you know, like the name and the address and all that kind of crap. Took a picture of the doors, you know, and stuff. So I had all my evidence I needed for the report. Went ahead and told dispatch I was going to clear with the report for an attempted burglary. And uh, the suspect, according to the driver's license anyways, only lived a few blocks away from the business. So I told him I was going to head over there and make contact with him. And I drove on over there, you know, looking for him on the street along the way. But there was nobody out on the streets. And... I get over to the house, knock on the door, of course, nobody answers the door, so I don't know if he's just inside hiding, or if he hadn't made it back home yet. So, anyways, I went ahead and cleared, went back to my beat. End of the day, filed all my reports and turned in my evidence. Well, Monday rolls around, I come into work Monday, go to talk to the detectives, let them know about it. They were going to head right out to that guy's house, see if they could catch him and have a talk with him. Well, I get back into the end of the shift on Monday, and sure enough, they had gone out there and he was home, and they talked to him, and of course, at first he tried to deny it, but when they explained to him, well, they got his fingerprints off the doorknob and everything. And they took his fingerprints and, you know, did a field comparison of the prints I took at the crime scene and his prints. And uh, he was wearing the same shoes he was wearing the day he committed the attempted burglary. And the footprints all matched up from the evidence I took. It was uh, pretty much what we called a slam dunk. And he, of course, confessed and was arrested. And as it turns out, he was responsible for about a half a dozen more burglaries in the area. So, put an end to a little mini crime wave in that area. <sighs> well, that just goes to show you, if the dumb 
much it would have had uh, a more proper burglary tool than uh, trying to use his driver's license, he probably would have got away with it because I wouldn't have known who he was and where he lived. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed my story. If you did, hit the like button, give me some comments, and come back again next week. See you all later. Bye-bye.